Hi, yeah, uh, I'm calling about the furry convention that's happening this weekend. The what? The, uh, furry convention? Sir, this is a Halloween costume store. Oh, my bad. In that case, do y'all have any of those knockoff ghost face costumes? We're done here. I'm on a quest to find the meanest builds for every killer in Dead by Daylight, and I think I may have landed on one of the most brutal builds for Legion. And because the build is so brutal, we wanted to soften the blow for the survivors by dressing up as this cuddly, adorable bunny outfit for Frank that he may or may not wear to furry conventions. The build today is kind of evil. We start off with Thanatophobia. For each injured, dying, or hooked survivor, all survivors receive a penalty of 2% to repair, sabotage, and totem cleansing speeds. If all four survivors are injured, dying, or hooked, there's an additional 12% penalty. Because we don't want survivors to heal up, we'll also be running Sloppy Butcher. Injured survivors suffer from the hemorrhaged and mangled status effects. And because we really don't want survivors to heal up, we're also running Cholerophobia. Survivors within our terror radius have a 50% penalty to healing progression speed, and healing skill checks move 50% faster. And because we do want a little bit of generator slowdown, we'll also be running Joel. When we put a survivor into the dying state, any generator within a 32 meter radius explodes, losing 8% of its progress and begins to regress. For add-ons, we're bringing the Legion pin. Any survivor who self-mends a deep wound from Feral Frenzy are inflicted with broken for 60 seconds. We'll also be bringing Susie's mixtape, which increases our killer instinct detection range while we're in Feral Frenzy by 20 meters. Let's go get our bunny swag on, y'all. Ironworks of Misery? I like it. A nice open map for us. Get some Feral Frenzy hits. Let's go show some survivors our adorable Frank outfit. Just gotta find him. So I'm gonna guess somewhere back in this corner. Let's check to the right here first. Anything? Nope. All right, then this other gen over here has got to be it. Yep, I see some movement. Oh yeah, there's a few over here. Where you at? Where you at? All right, there's one. All right, we got three over here. All right, that's fine. Get this out of the way. Ash is mending like right next to us. What are you doing, Ash? You dead hearted. Okay, you get out of here. All right, Jolt hit that. Let's chase them off of this. Because this is this is ready to, to go any second. <laughs> they definitely put in some work on this gen. All right, let's smack some survivors. Yeah, they're all right here. Get out of here. All right, let's chase her down, get another jolt on this gen, and then we can pick her up. Cool. They got the Ash up, that's fine. Get out of here, Ash. Don't be a hero. I don't know if this is like a breakout play. Like, why Why are you following me, dude? Yeah, they, they're not gonna wanna give up this gen. They've put in so much work on it. Somebody's back here. There we go. Everybody thinks they can just hide there and it's all good. Nope. Okay. Here's everybody else. I, okay. All right. If you want our attention, you got it. Let's put you down. Jolt that gen again. Why not? And get you on a hook. All right, so they're probably going around the tower. We do hear somebody back here. This is our Ash. OK, they are up here trying to heal. They didn't venture around the tower. Good to know. All right, let's put Ash down. Yeah, that Jen is definitely losing some progress. Get out of here. Thank you for the pallet. Get this out of the way. All right, let's go pick up our ash. All right, somebody's running over. Get that Claudette. All right, let's try to get 
Quentin injured. Okay. So this gen has lost a bit of progress. That's good for us. Alright. Somebody hiding in there. Somebody right here. Quentin, buddy. Come on. Oh, I guess we're not chasing Quentin. Was he in the uh, snowman? So this has got to be our Cheryl. Let's let them go. You running right to us? What are you doing, bud? Man that off. Get out of here. Nope. Yeah, Ash, bud, what are, what are you doing? He's got to have breakout. And we know his boil over. He's going to run us up here. And we're just gonna leave you sit there. Because we're not dealing with that, not today. The way to counter a boil over move like that is to slug. <laughs> and that's exactly what we're gonna do. Ah, oh, railing, come on! Nope. Alright. Let's get Cheryl down. Doesn't drop over the side. Okay. Where are you at? There we go. All right, so Claudette's got to make some moves uh, and and quick. She's got to go save some folks. Does she get the Quentin? All right, well, let's go find Claudette. And there she is. All right, let's just give her another smack to get out of frenzy. All right, let's break this and just follow this. Now she may go try to pick up Ash upstairs. Maybe, nope, she doesn't. Oh, come on. It's fine. I mean, we, we have this. Come here, Claudette. I just want to talk. I just want to talk. All right. Lucky for us, basement is right here. There you go. And Ash is almost bleeding out and done, so there really is no point in picking him up. He could have flip-flop as well as boil over. We're just gonna go up here, assert our dominance, give him a, a head nod, a sup, and watch him float off into the sunset. Sup, brah. Sorry. That's a no for me, dog. Boil over is not on the menu today. All right, let's get into the next. Okay, groaning storehouse. You know, of all the Macmillan maps, this one's probably my least favorite. But what are we going to do? We're here and we're ready to kill. All right, let's get this door out of the way. I always just like to get the store open. We can make some pretty nice mind games around this window behind me. Oh, these gens are so far apart. Um, okay, I guess they're back there. Let's go see. Now, ordinarily, like, 
for this map, you really want to find like a tight three or four gen if you can and just sort of defend that. But we're going to do what we got to do. Do you what you're where you're in a locker. Oh, yep. Head on. All right, let's knock her down. <laughs> Pointing at the, the guy who. <laughs> it's not going to work with me, Claudette. As far as I'm concerned, you're all guilty. All right, let's get you on a hook. There you go. So I'm guessing either this far gen to our left. Oh, this has some progress. Cool. Even better. We don't have to run all the way over there. All right, you go for the window. Yep. All right, pallet. Thank you. A pre-dropper. I like it. Is this a comp player? You're pre-dropping like crazy. And everybody in this lobby was at least, I don't know, prestige 10. I think that Claudette was like prestige 80 something. All right, who's hiding back here? Thank you, Meg. Who's hiding back here? Is this the dude who gave me the head on? I think it is. All right, let's just knock ourselves out of our power. All right, what's what's your play? All right, let's run around. You drop the pallet. Yep. Cool. All right. I don't think we make this hook, but let's carry him out this way because this is the area we want to be in. All right. All right, Smeg is back here. They are way over here. All right, I think she just set up a boon. Yep. I think that's a Jane. Let's get rid of that. Let's see if we can find her. You hiding back here somewhere? All right, she ran off. All right, scratch marks. Who could this be? It's our friend Meg. Good night, Meg. All right, Jane's gonna go for the save. Let's smack them both. All right, who is this back here? It's our friend Claudette. Yeah, on a map as big as this, we're definitely not gonna get uh, the four piece. Is that just men bags or <laughs> what, what were you doing? All right, let's get you back on a hook. Claudette, I feel bad. I already hooked you, but this isn't personal. You're literally right here. All right, let's walk 18 miles uphill both ways to get the gens. Don't love boons. All right. Claudette, buddy, I feel so bad, but you're right here. We need to get some reading.
Get out of my way. We've got survivors to hunt. All right. Good night, Jane. There you go. Claudette, I'm sorry, but you're literally right here. I feel kind of bad, but you were in the wrong place at the wrong time, buddy. I'm so sorry. All right, Mega is behind this hill. Yep. Sloppy Butcher doing its thing. Nice. All right, now we got to find the Dwight. Now, I'm guessing this is not a Swift, and I'm thinking this Dwight might be in it for himself. Okay, Killer Shack. Let's just hang around Killer Shack, because he seems like the type that would just uh, let these guys die on hook. Anything? Even one of those? No? You hiding back here somewhere? I'm just gonna hang around Killer Shack. You can go for the saves, Dwight. You have full permission. Go do it. You down here, you just hanging out, you hiding. Alright. I really think he's just going to uh to let them die on hook. This is the solo queue experience, everyone. <laughs> You're witnessing it right here. I am not camping the hooks, nor tunneling. And this Dwight is just in it for himself. So just for that, we're going to make sure he doesn't get hatched and he doesn't escape, because it's probably going to spawn right about here. And I think that Dwight has a key. So we got to be wary of that. All right. So what we're going to do is kind of bait him to come out a little bit. So let's mosey on over here. Do, 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 do. Just sort of check out the scenery. Everything looking OK? Yep. Yep. All right, there he is. You going to give me a hat on? No? All right. Greedy, greedy, greedy. Wouldn't go save your teammates. Tisk, tisk, Dwight. I mean, solo queue, am I right? All right, well, that's going to do it for me. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed these videos. Uh, please leave a like on this video if you enjoyed it. And don't forget to subscribe.